Welcome to the Pair Fair Podcast Show. Without further ado, here's your host Maria and George. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Pair Fair. In today's story, very interesting story in how we stop attacking or going toward our goal because there's a barrier there. So as I listen to the story, and as you listen to the story in a few seconds, the story's not that long, but it makes a lot of sense in what we do a lot of times. And I think we're all, some of us are really guilty of this. So in a few minutes, listen to our story. We'll get back to it. We'll talk about some things that we agree, some things that are stood out to us, and some things that are still confusing to us. So we'll see you in a few. During a research experiment, a marine biologist placed a shark into a large holding tank and then released several small bait fish into the tank. As you would expect, the shark quickly swam around the tank, attacked and ate the smaller fish. The marine biologist then inserted a strong piece of clear fiberglass into the tank, creating two separate partitions. She then put the shark on one side of the fiberglass and a new set of bait fish on the other. Again, the shark quickly attacked. This time, however, the shark slammed into the fiberglass divider and bounced off. Undeterred, the shark kept repeating this behavior every few minutes to no avail. Meanwhile, the bait fish swam around unharmed in the second partition. Eventually, about an hour into the experiment, the shark gave up. This experiment was repeated several dozen times over the next few weeks. Each time, the shark got less aggressive and made fewer attempts to attack the bait fish, until eventually the shark got tired of hitting the fiberglass divider and simply stopped attacking altogether. The marine biologist then removed the fiberglass divider, but the shark didn't attack. The shark was trained to believe a barrier existed between it and the bait fish, so the bait fish swam wherever they wished, free from harm. Welcome back from our story. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it's the story has me a little confused. I'm trying to figure if I'm the bait fish, am I, am I the shark? I haven't figured out which one I'm yet, but most of us are the shark. And the bait fish is, is kind of the things that we want to acquire as we go toward our goal. Something that was kind of confusing to me is why did the shark give up? Why did the shark give up? And I know he hit that barrier a few times. He hit that barrier a few times. And something in his body told him that it's not going to happen for him. It's not going to happen. And as he hit it countless times, he played, you, you, I think some people only have so much in them that they can deal with. And then they eventually give up. Some people only have five or six tries, good tries in them. And then they start to give up. And I'm just wondering, is that what happened to him? He did it five or six times, didn't get that what he wanted, and moved on and said, well, I guess I'll just settle over here. I guess it is, wasn't meant to be. And I, I feel like that um, the last couple of days, I had that kind of feeling in my stomach where I've been trying things and doing things, and I haven't been, I really haven't found the results just yet. I haven't found the results that I've been looking for just yet. But there's something in me that's saying, no, no, you're, you're better than that. You're not going to quit. You're not going to quit. But then there's that part of me and saying, well, I guess that, the you know, I see that other people are doing it and they're doing such a good job, but it's just not for me. And I started thinking about how after a few attempts or a few months, we don't see the results that we want and we give up. You see a lot of this on the on the diet plans, the food plans. Um, they push it in early in January, December, about getting on the diet, joining a gym. But now it's in the middle of the year, and the, we don't see the results that we want to see. And then what happens is we, we, we tend to give up. And this is why some of us have these humongous credit card bills or bills around us, because we're paying on it. But we're not really seeing any results. We're not seeing anything actually happening. So we get disgusted. We just say, okay, we'll just pay the minimum. This, that's our barrier. Every time the postman or whatever you get your bills delivered, that's your barrier. He said, well, this is all you need to pay this month. And be, you know, you're okay with that. 
So we start believing in that barrier that we can't, we can't do any better, that you can't do any better. And think, of, think about how close that shark was after they removed that barrier. Think about how close he was to his ultimate goal. But he had no idea that he had one more strike in him, a strike in her. And I think that's what happens to a lot of, a lot of us. We have it in us. But we've been told over and over again, it's not going to happen. Don't waste your time. And usually what happens is it's usually the person versus nature, where nature just says it's not going to happen. Or it's person against person. Another person tells you it's not going to happen. Or then usually what happens, the last thing is our mind. Our mind will tell us it's not going to happen. So if you have these three things that are telling you that's not going to happen, most likely you, you will, you will you, you'll agree to it. You will agree to it and, and you will sit back and say, well, I guess it didn't happen for me. I guess I'll just stay on this side of the barrier and just make the best of it. Make the best of it. And one thing I, I like about I like about myself and the people that I I constantly put myself around is refusing to accept that barrier. If the barrier is there. I like the fact that we have some people who are going to push it a little bit more. Who are going to push a little more. Someone asked me a question this morning. They said, do you know uh, such and such as email? And I go, no, I don't know it. And so that's okay. I'll, I'll ask somebody else. I'll, I'll, we'll get that email somehow, some way. And I, I like the fact that they didn't worry about me not knowing it, but they didn't, me telling them I didn't know it, that didn't discourage them. That told me that they're going to, no matter what, they're going to find that email somehow, some way, and they're going to get it. So as we go and as you go and go through life and you, and you get hit by that barrier and you think that's the it, that's the end of it, it really isn't. It really isn't the end. It's just the beginning. You just got to find another way to get it done. And what happens is all the time, I see these businesses that people let run down. And then someone else, they seize it up. They get it at a lower price. They fix the business. They make it better. And they sell it for a higher price. And they take all the profits. and They put them in their pockets. But if you're not willing to start, if you're willing, if you're not willing to continue attacking, attacking, no matter what, maybe staying on the other side is for you. Because I, it's not for everyone. And I keep telling people this all the time. Some people want to be successful, but it's not for everyone. Not everyone is built for success. Not everyone wants to go to that higher barrier. And I listen to people lately. I've been listening to a lot of people with these these outrageous, courageous, these, these ideas about what they want to do. And I just listen to them. And I don't judge them and say, well, I think something's wrong with them and I don't think they can do it. I'm like hoping they do it. Because sometimes you learn through people about how much are they going to tolerate, how much they're going to do. I was listening to someone talk, talking to someone yesterday and they were telling me how every time they get a little money saved up, something happens. Something happens in their life. Something happens in the house. Car breaks. You know, kid gets sick. And every time they save up because they want to go on this trip, something holds them back. And I said, well, that's, that's part of life. But you got to keep attacking. You got to keep putting money aside. You got to keep, if that's your goal, to go on that vacation, you shouldn't let things discourage you. You should just save up and say, okay, this is what it's going to be. This is what it's going to be. But I'm going to continue to try to do the best I can. And, and I'm not going to believe that that's my barrier. And I asked that person, well, how much is the airline ticket? And they told me how much it was. And I go, well, okay, that's not bad. They said, well, because they already, just, they already decided they're not going to go. They said, well, you know, the airline ticket costs that much. But once you get there, you got to have money to do things. And then I said, well, okay, well, you save her for that. Well, you know, once you get there, if the weather's bad, you can't go outside. It's raining too much. I go, what do you mean it's raining too much? Yeah, because it's raining and and then people's houses, the roofs and people's houses are flying all over the place and, and you might get hit by a roof. And I said, wow. 
I said, well, it doesn't matter. I, I still want to go. They go, no, it may rain. It may be too hot. It may be too cold. So they told me right there, that person doesn't really want to go because it doesn't matter if it's raining. It doesn't have to be perfect. Your, every situation doesn't have to be perfect for you to, to make that attempt. And I keep, and people keep waiting and waiting, waiting for the perfect situation. Like the sunrise is going to come up, the moon's going to be aligned and all this other stuff. That's not true. That's only in movies. Because the day that it's going to happen, it's going to catch you by surprise. Everything's not going to be, everything's not going to be sunny. It could be a cloudy day. It could be a rainy day. When you attain your goals, it doesn't say, okay, it ha everything has to line up perfectly for you. Because it, it, that, life doesn't work that way. And that's what happens with a lot of people. The people who really don't want it bad enough, they're waiting for everything to be perfect. The people who seem to attain a lot more, they don't care if it's perfect. They're going to they don't have that vision in them. All they care about is they're going to attack, keep attacking, 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 and keep going. And I, one thing I could say about myself is how I was raised and how I'm raising my son and, um, you know, my wife. We don't believe in barriers. And that's something we don't believe in is, oh, there's a barrier. And so that's as far as you can go. Because we always had that story of, Oh, those people on the other side of the train tracks live better than other people on the other side of the train tracks. And when you start believing that there's barriers for your life, you're done. You're done. You have to figure out what your barriers are. And I say, and you have to figure out if it's true or not. Because I don't think it is true. I really don't think it is true. Because barriers are, who puts these barriers up? It's a person will put this barrier up and say, okay, but who gives them the right to put that barrier up? When the person put the barrier up in the, in the aquarium or in the, where the shark was, he was trying to tell that shark that you stay on this side. You, you're not good enough for these fish, these bait fish over here. You just, you just be happy what we give you every day. You just be happy. And some people are conditioned to be happy of getting, just getting by, just getting the crumbs, not getting the full meal, just getting the crumbs. And they're happy with that. They're content with that. Myself, I want a full meal. I want a good meal. I don't want just the crumbs. Anybody can get the crumbs. But as I watch people and I watch myself, as I work on the programs that I'm doing, my challenge that I've, I've given myself when I first started this podcast, and I see things are moving in the right direction, but then I, I have a setback. I have a setback. Something comes up, and I realize, yeah, what are you going to do? Sit around and feel bad about yourself or fix it, make it better? Because I realize that if you wanted something really bad, no one's going to stop you. No one's going to stop you. Only person that's going to stop you most likely is yourself. Because you're the one that's going to say, okay, I've had enough. And as I watch myself get closer and closer to getting more and more stuff done with this podcast, and I see that there's some barriers out there that I see. I, I've been researching things about this podcast and certain things I want to do with it. And that little thought in my mind came to mind. I said, well, that's not for you. Only those lucky people get that one. They work harder than you do. You're not willing to work that hard. And that's that voice in my mind that's telling me that, yeah, you, you have a podcast, but you'll never be able to attain what they're attaining because they're, they're, they're a lot more, you know, they've been doing a lot more experience than you are. And so I'm, I'm trying to say to myself, we're not going to put no barriers up for myself. We're not going to put barriers up and we're going to go over that barrier. Oh, yeah, they you think they work harder than I do. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Because that's that's your that's your part of your brain that's always going to argue with you when you're trying to go forward. That's the lazy part of your brain, because this part of your brain that really is like, you know what? I really don't need you overworking me today. 
I really don't want to do much today. You're okay where you are. You know, this cubicle wherever you're sitting right now, it's fine. What's the problem? But there's other part of you that really wants to do more. And it's caged up and it's ready to be, to be released. But the other part's like, settle down now. No, no, no. Let's be realistic about this. Because I, I was looking at some people's stats and looking at the, and the thing is, as I got into this podcast, and I didn't get in it for the money, the prestige, and all this other stuff. I get in, I got in it because I had all these things to say to people, and I say things to people all day. And I said, I need a bigger audience. I said, what if, if I'm selfish about the things I'm saying to these people I have in front of me now? What if I can help millions and millions of people, not just a handful of people every day? I said, that'd be kind of selfish of me to just help a handful, and I can help millions of people. So as you listen to our podcast and you listen to our previous shows, hopefully you take this information and you start and you keep attacking and you keep attacking and you don't believe in that there is a barrier out there to hold you back. Because they will try to divide you. They will try to break you up. They will try to make sure that you stay on that side of the, of the aquarium because you, you, you're, not, you can't, you're not good enough for these bait fish. And if you start believing that stuff and you start thinking that that's it for you, you start thinking that's it for you. Well, maybe it is. Maybe this is not for you. And I keep telling people about my, my challenge that I have every day of saving up so much money a day. Maybe that's not for you because it takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of people just that, that extra oomph. But like I said, some people are okay being where they are. And we all get complacent in life. And sometimes complacency, and the reason why you get complacent, because you realize, okay, you think there's not another level. There's nothing else you can go through. But there is. But you got to keep pushing yourself. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the pair fair today. Hope you enjoyed the story, the feedback we talked about in the story. And as we get more and more comments and people are commenting, as we get bigger and better and we try to produce more content for you, um, remember the barrier that's in front of you, it can go, you can go, you can, you have options, you can go under it, over it, through it, but it's up to you. What are you willing to do? So as we get out of here today and we'll join you in the next pair fair, just remember, don't let people tell you what your barrier is is in life you determine your own barrier okay we'll see you on the next one and hopefully you have a great day and we'll we'll talk to you later bye-bye love this episode of the parafair podcast head over to soundcloud to subscribe rate and leave a review it's very much appreciated thank you